everyone, and thanks for tuning in to Pet News Radio, sponsored by Pet Hotels of America, the leading travel website for pet owners. I'm your host, Lisa Davies. Today, we are lucky to have with us Gordy Spader, owner and president of Kurgo. This is a company that has just about every product you could possibly need for traveling with pets. Gordy, thank you so much for being with us. It's a pleasure to have you. Well, thanks so much for having me. I see you have a booster seat that keeps the dogs safe, but they still get a view of the road, and this is my favorite product. What's yours? Um, I am I'm kind of a classic person, I guess. I like the uh, our harnesses for traveling in the car. I think that's kind of the core in a lot of ways, and it does it does the line because it it's kind of like a, a almost like a seatbelt for a dog. And you use it with the booster seat that you were just mentioning. Uh, smaller dogs, so they can see out, and the larger dogs get the harnesses. Is this correct? Yeah, well, the smaller dogs can use the harnesses. In fact, those clip directly into our booster seat, and those booster seats clip directly into the seat belt. So um, the, uh, the, you can use them together. And that booster seat, we call it a skybox booster seat because it's kind of a skybox view. So the dog has a great perch to be able to look out the window. What actually goes into developing these kinds of travel products? To hit on one point there, everything, all of our items, we have a lifetime warranty on it. Um, but in terms of the development, and we've been doing this development of these products for uh, 10 years now. Um, so there's a lot of, we have a design studio right here in our offices in, in Massachusetts uh, where we design the products and, and we have testing scenarios that we've created. Um, and then in terms of the, all the components and everything that are in them, we use really high-end components. So it is a, it, the quality, whether it's a safety device or just a seat cover kind of thing, is really important because dogs are rough on products. And we, I compare and contrast two different stories. Uh, one story was someone who said, you know what, I have to hold on to my car even though it's at the end of the lease because my dog has totally torn up my seat. I wish I had found your seat covers before. And then I have another story from a consumer that says, oh, I bought your, your Wander bench seat cover when I bought my car. I put it on, and uh, now three years later I'm taking it off, and I'm going to turn in the car, and the seat looks brand new. So if you were to... If you were to look at one of the, you know, if you were to look at those two stories for, you know, forty-five dollars for a seat cover, or fifty dollars for a seat cover, you know, it's a totally different scenario. There's a proposed House Bill 212 that bans drivers from hold. Um, what's your opinion on this? The reason that the company got started um, was because of distracted driving, and it was really my brother, who's the head designer, uh, he goes by the name of Kidder. Uh, had a dog named Zelda. Zelda was a plot hound, had a lot of energy, and Zelda liked to come into the front seat of the car. And he designed something called the back seat barrier, and it basically starts out with a Rubbermaid cover and a couple bungee cords that he strapped around in his car to keep the dog from coming into the front seat. And then he knew how to sew, so being an a industrial designer, he sewed up what became the back seat barrier. So the distracted driving of having a dog on your lap that's our number has been our number one focus since the beginning is that causes an accident and furthermore if you have a small dog that they can actually even fit on your lap that uh if you were to get an accident and the airbag went off that dog would be in very bad shape and you know what it can do to your face it, it, these dogs are really small and uh so they they have the potential of causing an accident if they decide to jump or run around, and then furthermore, if you were to be in that situation in an accident, it would be really bad for the dog. So I guess that's the long answer. The short answer is I don't think it's a good idea, and that's why we create. Even if you're not in an accident, just a fast stop can throw the dog into the windshield. That's exactly right, and I hear those stories frequently. All I did was get, I just had to slam on my brakes so I didn't run into someone else right in front of me, or I just barely touched their bumper. Well, if, you, if your dog, just like if you wouldn't have a child or a friend of yours unrestrained when they're in the car, it's called an accident because you don't know that it's going to happen. It's not like all of a sudden you can grab the, the dog or the child or anything. You need to be prepared. I also see you have really fun products for travel other than car safe. The Skybox Bike Basket and the Max Pack. Can you tell us a little bit about So it originally started with the idea of traveling in your car and distraction. But as we've gotten into it, it we really are all about getting out with your dog and then walking out your front door and going for a walk, or if it's riding your bike, or if it's hiking with your dog. So we have a number of items, like the bike basket, 
um, which is a takeoff of the Skybox booster seat for the car, but a great little basket, clips right onto the front of your bike, it has an easy removal um, little clip, so you can then click, um, unclick it and carry the bike uh, basket away with you, which then can have your dog in it, or you can, and then the, the Max Pack is all for hiking with your dog. So again, encouraging people and their dogs to get out and have that bonding experience together. Um, I mean, I think all of us who are dog owners and who also work, you know, realize that we'd really like to spend more quality. At Kurgo, we really work to try and make that a great experience for the dog and for the owner and any other family members. I want to make sure that people know where to buy your product. So certainly you can find out more information about the company and purchase the products at Kurgo.com, K-U-R-G-O.com, local retailers around the country. Um, as well as national retailers like PAC or REI. So any of those, then there are opportunities in other places to buy them online. You know, it, it really is about as much as possible getting out and enjoying the world with your dog. And we love it when you share stories back with us of, of ways that you do that. And we have a following, and, and you can go find us on Facebook, which is a great way to reach out to us. Before we leave here, I wanted to find out from kind of trends you're seeing in pet trucks. I think the biggest thing is that, I love opportunities like this to talk to people um, because I think that most people, this kind of category has developed pretty recently. And a lot of people, let's say, are still using a blanket to cover the back of their seat. And that's a frustrating experience, That whereas there are great solutions that you can buy that will really protect the seat and make your life a lot easier. And the same thing for harnesses, um, where these products have evolved so that they are great walking harnesses and great harnesses for riding in the car and all at a really reasonable price and something that you'd be excited to own. So I think a lot of people, it's a real, a lot of pet parents are not as aware of it as they are other things like obviously toys and treats and things like that. But there's great, really good products and I think you'd be happy with your, with people would be happy with their purchase and kind of look at it and say, how did I go along so long without these items? <laughs> right. <laughs> and I'm one of them. Um, so <laughs> anyway, go. Gordy, thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you enjoyed today's program at Pet News Radio, Pet Hotels of America, the leading travel website for pet owners. If you plan on doing any traveling in the U.S. or abroad, please make sure to visit Pet Hotels of America, where you're going to find the largest selection of pet-friendly hotels in the world. It also has listings for pet-friendly beaches, parks, restaurants, events, activities, vets, groomers, everything else you could possibly need or want when traveling with your pet. So until then, have a positively wonderful day. Mm -hmm.